Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today Scorpio, you guys got Fox Spirit Think on your feet, number 27. I think they're trying to prepare you guys for something. I'm also seeing like a distraction. Like they're trying to prepare you for something and they're telling you to be alert. You know when you're like making a turn or something and they tell you like before the turn happens like in the car like there's a wide turn coming up or you know there's a um, like a loop coming up like slow the fuck down that's kind of what they're saying but it's not a slowing down in the energy it's like alert like wake the fuck up like be alert right now like that's what i'm getting right now like be alert hello <laughs> um and i feel like a distraction coming on so it's kind of like the turn is coming up and then um your phone falls on the floor right and you're driving your phone just fell and like the turns coming up and you're like they're busy picking up your phone and you're not seeing the turn um yeah like i'm getting that for somebody like i i don't i don't know why i'm getting like a driving scenario um i'm not getting like this is gonna affect you in the car i hope not like please be safe driving jesus christ like i'm, I'm concerned but i'm really getting more of an energy of like there's something coming there's something that you need to pay attention to and it could be honestly someone who's like trying to distract you. It could be a person. Um, but let's find more out about this, um, Scorpio, because I'm getting like a lot of shit. But I'm getting like they're trying to be like, wake up. Like, you need to see this. Um, like, be uh, attentive right now. So Scorpio, this is such a weird message. <laughs> I know that they're trying to tell you to walk away from something and not to stoop down to somebody's level. That's why I'm getting like, don't stoop to any this person's level. There's someone here that I feel like is trying to lie to you or deceive you. This person can be masculine because the main male came out with this. Um, and I think, and, and with community, to me, that's like a friend or that's someone who you're around right now or someone you were around with like this week, um, like someone that you hang out with. It could be a family member, honestly, um, or it could just be like a friend. But I'm getting with this, it, it could be a masculine. Like these are the hints that they gave me of like who this person is. Um, and with the Ace of Swords, this person kind of, I, I, like they, they lying to you they're lying to you and they want to like confirm that this should be the end of this relationship between the two of you like to walk away from whoever this person is um i don't know who this is like i don't know for some reason um i don't think that this is like someone you dated i think that this is someone that it could be someone that you dated but i'm also getting that this like i'm mainly getting for everyone's gonna be different i'm really getting that this is someone who has affected your relationships in life like you're affected your like dating life this person has affected it but this is not like someone that you date so this is kind of like your best friend you know you, you talk to them a lot and they kind of give you shitty advice or this is someone like um that you someone that you go to for advice that's what i'm getting whoever this person is that you go to for advice they're telling you like put an end to this relationship you got the death card twice with the coffin they're saying like whatever this person tells you um it's not true like obviously with the ace of swords it's not true but it is gonna hurt you i think it's gonna hurt you because this person is like doing something that you know is like wrong you know what i mean it's kind of like you're testing someone's loyalty to you and you find out that they're lying you know what i'm saying or you find out something about this person and you're like fuck i knew it you know like you kind of i feel like you're setting this person up because you know either like they're a rat or you just know something about them that's like not right and it's gonna devastate you but at the same time it's like you already knew it subconsciously so yeah i'm getting like this this i'm getting a friendship honestly i think it's like the end of this friendship and i'm getting like you guys could have been friends when you were kids with the youth card um 
and you really felt that this person was loyal because you were very loyal to this person but i'm getting like this is a person that they want you to stop collaborating with like i keep getting that they want you to like end this relationship with them yeah this person has like I, I feel like maybe you've chose this person over a lot of other people in the past and now it's time to choose yourself like it's time to choose yourself and this person affects your relationships i keep getting that this person can be family or friends or you think of them as family but they're telling me again to, to end this relationship with this person so yeah i, I can't get like much more on the situation because i feel like for everyone's a little different um, I'm getting it's like a friendship mo mainly though, like someone that you're very close to or you confide in and this person just gives you like bad advice, this person t like steers you into the wrong direction or they don't really want what's best for you at the end of the day and that's unfortunate but that's why I'm getting with this person. Yeah, they just want you to walk away and not to stress and not to fear. I feel like you're going to feel some sort of way, like you're going to feel sad, you're going to feel maybe depressed that this has left your life, but you're not going to take the bait or you're not going to continue this relationship. That's what I'm getting, like you're going to be protected. I hope for some of you this is not about like a relationship, like a person that you dated. If it is, it's still the same advice, like not to date this person. Um, but I feel like what they're really saying is like this person that's that has given you advice has led you into like a lot of wrong directions um not once not twice like many times like this person has steered you into the wrong direction and it's not because like i feel like you know sometimes we give advice to a friend and it's the wrong advice you know and like we can't help like the outcome like you know you give your best opinion at the time and you, you know you, you do your best at, with, with what you can at that time i'm getting with this person that it's different like it's like i don't want to say malicious but like the intent is not nice right like this bad intent bad there are bad intentions here if that makes any sense yeah i just keep getting the same thing so i'm gonna pull some advice i i wouldn't be sad about this because this is gonna open you guys up to other shit i feel like this is like the type of person that's like always putting you down or always like giving you again it's not even maybe bad advice like um Maybe there's a lot of competition between the two of you. I don't know. Like, this just seems like the the minute they get out of your life, like, shit opens up for you. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Let's um, pull some advice, Scorpio. Yeah. I was like, let me see if I can get anything else on this person. They don't even want you to think about this person. They want you to be in full energy. Which is like to leave, to go forward, to start a new beginning, to like take a chance here. Again, this is like if you have no friends and this is like your only friend, like take a chance. You know, if this is like your closest friend. It doesn't matter. Um, it's like actually really sad this reading to me because with wisdom, I feel like it's like very subconscious. Like you already know that you can't a lot. You know, you can't trust this person. And with peace. They're like, there's nothing that you could do better or worse for this person. It is what it is. Like, it's like kind of like get away from this person. I mean, you don't want to deal with someone who, you know, it's not someone who like, how do I explain it? Sometimes like we mess up and we have to apologize and we have to take accountability for our actions. That's not what this person is about. This person is someone who will like do this for their entire life. You know what I mean? This is someone who like, they i don't think they'll ever apologize i don't think they'll ever be sorry i think they do it and it's like it's the intent behind it that's why i keep getting the word in the intention the intention is wrong you know so it's like sometimes we fuck up and we don't have bad intentions we just fuck up you know like sometimes we do the wrong thing and you know we're confused at the time a lot of shit's going on and we mess up like that's a human thing but this person does it with the intent of hurting you which is why you have to leave this person the intent behind what they do is to hurt you. And I know that's like hard to hear and I see the heart chakra here. Um, this is all about your heart, the Buddha of enlightened action. My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do, yeah. Um, they're telling you like to do this, like to walk away from this person, to walk away from this friendship. Um, I'm sorry guys, like I, I think this is like a terrible like read, but at the end of the day, like somebody needed this warning so that's why i'm getting to walk away from this person to walk away from this relationship this friendship um yeah and to be at peace 
And I also just got something about driving. Like, just be careful driving whoever I'm talking to. Um, like, don't multitask. If you feel tired, like, tell somebody else to drive. And if you feel like, you know, you're tired, like, maybe get coffee. Um, I keep seeing something about this, like, turn, like, going on. And I don't know. It's, like, weird. Like, don't be on your phone while you're driving. Shit like that. But, yeah, I think this is, like, all common sense. But I know a lot of people text and drive. I'm not good at multitasking, so... <laughs> you know I, I pick up the phone for a second the car is like five feet to the right or left <laughs> so please um be safe guys i love you i hope this helps and i'll see you guys scorpio bye